You want your nummies? Let's go. Today I am partnering with the farmer's dog. I obviously want Brady around for a very long time, so I decided to invest in her long-term health by switching her over to a fresh diet. Most traditional dog foods are so highly processed. The farmer's dog is made fresh and delivered right to your door, so it's super convenient. Plus, it's pre-portioned for Brady, so I never have to worry about overfeeding her or underfeeding her. I love that I can see the fresh ingredients in the food. It looks nothing like any other dog food, and she gets so excited to eat. It can be a little more expensive than traditional grocery store dog food. However, it's so worth the investment because it's helping your dog's long-term health and avoiding unnecessary health costs down the road. She absolutely loves this food. I literally have to tell her to like slow down when she's eating. <laughs> you lick the bowl clean. Don't forget any spots. Right? Oh, that's so yummy. Is that yummy? Did you find any more? I know. There's no more. You ate it all. It's so good. You're such a good girl. You love that, don't you? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Brady, you're supposed to go get that. seriously so playful right now having her on the farmer's dog she has been like i swear her energy levels have been out the roof she's always getting her toys out she'll come up to me so i throw them i'm so happy we completely switched her over to the farmer's dog her breath used to be super smelly and now it's not as smelly anymore and i think that's made a huge difference from the food she's intaking now if you haven't switched your dog over to the farmer's dog highly recommend i will leave Everything down in the description box. You can get 60% off your order. It's definitely super beneficial for their long-term health. Let's be honest, we want them around for as long as possible. Okay, today I'm gonna be making some avocado toast and Mitchell makes homemade chimichurri sauce, so I'm gonna like sprinkle that on top. 
never done this before so hopefully it tastes good because i am starving usually for breakfast i kind of keep it simple i usually do like a smoothie with bacon or protein pancake with fruit sometimes if i'm lazy a bowl of cereal but today i'm gonna spice it up i right, mixed up my avocado i don't i wish i had like one of those avocado things i need to get one i put lemon juice and salt my toast is cooking and then making my eggs over here. All right, I layered the chimichurri on. Next, I'm gonna spread the avocado on. I don't think I have enough. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. And then the egg goes on top. Whoa. Then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this. That looks freaking amazing. I am so excited for this. I'm gonna do a little mukbang for you guys. You are already fed, woman. No. She's like, this looks so good, mom. Wow. That do be good. The best part is the touch of chimichurri. Mitchell's chimichurri is seriously amazing. Mmm, so good. Grande cold brew with one pump of cinnamon dolce and then a pump of vanilla with almond or um, oat milk. So unfortunately we're all out of the oat milk. I do apologize about that. Okay. I can do almond milk. Okay. Anything else for you today? Uh, can I get extra ice in that as well and that'll be it. Okay. 421. We'll see you at the window. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I will leave this coffee drink down in the description box because it is seriously so good. But as you guys heard, I usually get it with oat milk instead of almond milk. It still tastes good, but I think I like the oat milk better. Okay, so most of you guys know, actually I don't know if you know. Sorry if it's really loud, my washing machine is on right now. So I took my nails off. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that. I just wanted to give them like a break because I've literally been getting my nails done for... I couldn't tell you how long, three years now. And the only break I had with them is when we were in full-blown quarantine, couldn't leave the house, everything was shut down. I think that was like maybe two months I had them off. So I wanna try and go at least six months, maybe. I don't know, right now I think I'm on a month. Look what I received. Butter London collabed with Caboodles and this is just so freaking cute. Like, it's like my own little set. Ah, this like is such a throwback for me. But look at all this fun stuff in here. I can paint my nails at home if I do like want to color on them or something. I love this green and pink color, so cute. But I love this little caboodle. It's so adorable. I am still getting pedicures because can't give those up. They are nice to just get. But I, I just do want my toes painted. But I was just doing the dip and it was a lot on my nails and honestly they're not as damaged as I thought they were going to be. They're just a little weak so every time they grow out I hit them against something and then they break. So I just want them to get stronger and then maybe go back to doing my nails. I don't know. It's such like a bittersweet thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my morning routine. Pretty much what's going on in the mornings around here. I'm gonna finish editing some videos so I can get those uploaded. Anyways, thank you for watching, bye.